In this tutorial, I want to show you what the researcher module in Web Content Studio can do and how it can help you as you develop your own websites. If we click over onto that tab, you can see that we've got a bookmarks button over here, we've got a strip HTML button here, and we've got two tabs, the web browser and a scratch pad, which works together with the web browser for some of the features. If we click over on the bookmarks button here, then this window opens up and it's basically a list of important sites that you're going to use when you're developing your content. And if you click on one of those links, then it opens up within the internal browser. Now there may be times where you want to open up in an external browser and you can do that as well. You can specify, for example, this easy articles link I've actually got to open in an external browser and it will open up in your default browser in my case in Firefox. And now we have easy in articles opening up in Firefox. Let's have a look and see what the researcher can do for us. When you're developing a website, quite often you might like to have a list of products that you can review on your site. So let's go over to the product search at Google and we'll type in Canon digital camera search products. And we'll find here that we've got the first 10. What I can do is I can go up to my preferences here and specify that actually I want 100 and then the Google product search now opens up again with 1 to 100. Now the product names are actually links so what we can do is we can strip out those links with this strip HTML button and strip out the link text and you can see now that on the scratch pad we've automatically flipped over to the scratch pad we've got a list of the links. We've got some other links, uh, some other lines as well of information that we don't really want and we can get rid of those and there's various ways you can do that th through this process button. We can remove lines containing specific words so we could remove all these review lines if we wanted to by saying remove all lines that contain the word reviews and if we scroll down now you'll see that all those reviews have gone. We could remove lines that exactly match add to shopping list you see again that's now removed even more so there's various ways you can process this information one of the things that I can see from the product lists is that all of the words are going, all of the lines are going to have canon in so let's just only include lines that have the word canon and you can see in one fell swoop there we've pretty much cleaned up we can get rid of some of these that may not be products and now we have a list of products and what you do with that list next is is up to you you can send it to notes we can create a new note or or append it to an existing note that we've got over on the notes tab let's add it to a new note and we'll call it Canon digital cameras and now that's been saved so if we go over to the notes tab you can see here that we've got the list of Canon digital cameras there which we could print off if we want to or save as a text file for later reference. The other thing we could do with this list is we could send it to the to-do list. Now the to-do list, let's click over onto the to-do list there and you can see it that we've got the products now listed in this to-do list you can specify a due date for it. If you have a date that you want to do the article by, you can select a priority for it and you can do various things there. Once you've written the article, you can check them off and when you're ready to, you can see them being crossed off here, when you're ready you can just delete all of those that have been checked. So you can keep track of products that you've, re that you've reviewed and products that you still need to review. Let's have a look at another feature of the researcher and it's this button down here called Grabber. Let's just click it and you can see that it says now stop grabbing and it's now flashing to tell you that the Grabber is working. Let's go and open up, let's have a look, let's open up Easy in Articles and it'll open in my external browser because that's how I've got it set up. Okay, now we've got Easy in Articles open. Let's do a search for Canon digital camera, click on search and back on Web Content Studio. Let's just go to the scratch pad which I've cleared using this button down here. 
Now what the Grabber does is, no matter which application you're in, you could be in Adobe Acrobat, you could be in Microsoft Word, you could be in any web browser, any, any application at all, any text that you copy will be copied to the scratch pad. You can see the Grabber button's working. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here so you can see what's happening with the scratch pad. And let's suppose that this bit of information here is, in, is good information and I want to use it for my own research. You can see there that it's now been copied to the scratch pad, which we can set the wrap on there so that we can actually see it better. And let's try another one. Let's copy that. And you can see there that that has been added as well. Now this grabber does only grab text, it doesn't grab images, but for example if you were to right click an image and copy image location, then that image location would actually be copied as well because that's copied as text to the clipboard. Anything that is copied as text to the clipboard is copied to the scratch pad and you've then got your notes here ready for when you want to go and write your own article. So essentially you can go off browse the internet, find bits of information that are useful, facts, figures, quotes, anything you want. Having the grabber running, you can then copy it to the clipboard and that will then be added to your scratch pad. And then when you come to write your article, you can open up a pop-up version of the scratch pad and have all of your notes ready and handy to refer to as you write your article.